up with the squad back with another video i seen that's how it was going down make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button for me please before we get in this video you know uh i got on true social and seen you know um <clears throat> uh president donald trump you know say stuff i want to thank uh the united states secret service and all of the law enforcement for the rapid response on the shooting that took place in butler pennsylvania most importantly i want to extend my condolences to the family of the person that rally who was killed also to the family member of, of another person that was badly injured it is incredible that such an act can take place in our country nothing is known at this time about the shooter um this was last night you know um but he said he would you know uh shot in the ear, ear uh, on the upper part um and he knew immediately some you know was wrong um and then god bless you know uh and then i checked you know of more you know of what he said based on yesterday's terrible events i was going to delay my trip y'all can see all this on true social i'm pretty sure a lot of y'all follow him on true social um based on yesterday's terrible events i was going to delay my trip to wisconsin and the republican national convention about two days but i just decided that i cannot allow a shooter or a potential assassin to force change to scheduling or anything else therefore i will be leaving for milwaukee as scheduled 3 30 p.m today um, that was four hours ago. So that just goes to show you how strong of a man he is. Um, I don't care what nobody say. Um, that just goes to show you because honestly, like I said uh, yesterday, my live, that was my first time even checking out a Trump rally. Um, you know, and I, I, that was my first time. I always wanted to go. Um, and that was my first time checking it out live. So when it happened and me being, me going through something like that in my past, you know, it kind of, you know, it messed me up a little bit. You know, it definitely messed me up a little bit. And people wanted to make jokes about it. Sent it in my family chat. And, um, you know, it was jokes taking place. I didn't find none of it funny, of course. Um, you know, I don't. Uh, people posting funny videos and stuff like that. Um, I don't find none of it funny. And people got to realize that, um, you know, I, I I try to, you know, keep keep calm, you know, with a lot of, a lot of situations um, and not say too much. But um, I just, I don't know. I feel like it, it messed with me a lot. And I had a, I have a lot of questions. You know, I had a lot of questions on a lot of stuff. So I've been checking, you know, different things out. But most of all, prayers to the families, um, you know, and, and prayers to, to y'all, you know. Definitely prayers to y'all. Prayers to Trump, you know, um, the wounded. You know, it, it, it's just a sad thing to witness. But definitely uh, jump in this video. And oh, if we got, we got this clip. On. And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Now, based on reports, what you're seeing are two Secret Service members on top of a roof behind Donald Trump, aiming down scope at what seems to be a threat. The question is, what are they waiting for? What's taking yeah. so long? Why the hesitation? And most importantly, if they were looking down the scope at a terrorist sniper, why didn't they eliminate the threat? That and that's a question that I do have. You know, um, I'll, I'll always see. Um, I also was in the police academy for, uh, you know, a few months. And, you know, my dad's been in the police officer for 25 years somebody picks up any type of weapon you're aiming anything like that like and i just don't get that you know and i, I that's why i have more so questions of you know what's going on and that's why i wanted to you know look at this video check different videos out because it's like if you see somebody aiming aiming down a scope potential threat anything like that what is taking so long what is going on how did, how are you not seeing like I, it's a bunch of questions it's obvious of question have. number one obviously there was some yeah. sort of failure but it gets even worse after seeing this video because again it raises more questions than it answers first off why the hesitation why didn't they do their job and secondly how the frick did this happen in the first place how we're talking about the secret service here we're talking about a former president and possibly the next president of the united states he is supposed to have 24 7 full-on secret service security detail and not just any detail but the best in the business you mean to tell me that the best in the business coordinating with lo so we got trump the the stage that trump is on everybody watching secret service right here suspect over here and I'm pretty sure there's people that's around this area as well. First and foremost, where did he go to get up here? How are you not seeing? Uh, that's that's my first thing. 
how is it anybody not around here any police officers any and, and we're talking about this this whole area right here if y'all can follow my mouse why why isn't it any and, and this is this is being for real if there's any type of ropes that's that's anywhere on top of everything that's where that's where everybody needs to be positioned you need to see everything people in a tree if it's anybody in a tree you need to see everything not just right here and that's what i find odd you know, I find it real odd. Law enforcement and probably other contracting groups. You mean to tell me that all of these highly trained, top of their industry professionals didn't even secure the perimeter? They didn't have buildings in the direct vicinity on lockdown? I mean, it is exactly. truly unbelievable. Exactly. You know, the Having them on lockdown. Having them on lockdown is the most important thing. When you have all these tall buildings, I mean, you got to think, what has Trump, like, we, 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 talking about, we talking about President Trump here. We're talking about the president Trump here. We are talking about somebody that is known from like li literally. So, so, and then you go going to speak. And then when I found real interesting and that I had a, 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 a real question, you know, to, to wonder is, you know, they usually have that, that, that bulletproof glass that sits right there in front of the president. That's, that's covering them in some type of way. I didn't see that either. Um, there's a couple of people that that spoke, and I'm pretty sure they're they're in this video, if I'm not mistaken, um, that I want to check out and run over uh, with y'all. But I'm just confused on how, if you see somebody, this this is this is, come on, I don't know. This, this way this is looking to me, it seems unbelievable that Secret Service allowed this to happen, and that's where the question gets raised. Was this just an honest mistake, or was there a purpose behind the inaction? Was there a secret conspiracy transpiring? We can only speculate. Well, when speculating, generally, you'll follow what makes the most sense. Well, honestly, like I just said, the Secret Service and Police Department inaction, the sheer level of incompetence, seems almost unbelievable. Some of the eyewitness testimony, I mean, it's mind blowing I get on that and watch and listen to the rally right we couldn't see him but we could hear him so we walked up in probably five to seven minutes of Trump speaking I'm estimating here I have no idea you know but um, we noticed the guy crawling arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle. Absolutely. Um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's guy. That's the, that's the thing, though. Police are running around on the ground. This shouldn't have even taken place from the get go because y'all should have had all the all those tall buildings. It should have been people on them, police, Secret Service on them, not just watching on them. You have these tall buildings. You have to like I I just I, I find it I, I don't know y'all. The roof with the rifle, and the police were like, huh, what? You know, like like they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof, we can see him from right here. We see him. You know, he's he's crawling. We, as Trump started, we I noticed two officers. But how how is how are witnesses seeing him? They, per, per, they need to protect this dude right here. But if witnesses are seeing him. How isn't the police like I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm, I'm see confused. him from right here. We see him. You know, he's, he's possible verdict. Democrats in Congress were working to remove his Secret Service protection. They wanted him vulnerable. I'm just supposed to not link the two because that makes me a crazy conspiracy theorist. No, it's almost as if this is exactly what they wanted. I'm also thinking a whole lot about Joe Biden's recently sworn in director of U.S. Secret Service, Mrs. Kimberly A. Cheadle, and the fact that she has repeatedly refused to give Donald Trump full presidential Secret Service protection. Dan Bongino mm. goes in on it. But President Trump is a former president running for re-election. You essentially have two incumbents running. Folks, he does not have a full presidential package right now. It is putting the man in danger. His threat level is apocalyptic and catastrophic. It is time right now for Kim Cheadle, the Secret Service Director, to get her head out of her ass and do the right thing. I can tell you stories for days about her putting politics ahead of presidential protection. I am not being overly emotional because I've said it before. 
The Secret Service director is utterly unqualified right now to be doing what she's doing. It is time for her first to get this thing solved. It's an emergency situation right now and find out what happened. But she should step down immediately. Definitely. Definitely. And I, I agree with him with that because that this is nonsense. It's really nonsense to me, you know, just based off of the fact that. Like, how, how could you sit there and let, you know. I ain't going to say this. Well, I guess I can. Because I don't, I, I just don't understand how they didn't see him on top of that. And then they said that he did, you know, he having his sights and seeing them or seeing them last. I don't, I don't really know. You know, we're not him. We don't have his eyes. But you can clearly see, you know, if if you on top, you know, scavenging the area and see you, you should clear. I just, I just don't know, y'all. I don't know. It's. I feel like so many people have so many questions because. I don't know. It's so many witnesses that said, you know, he somebody up there, uh, police, you know, not moving. You know, I, I just don't understand it. And I, I don't even know. I'm not sure if they even let us know how many shots took place. Um, it was enough, you know, he, so I'm, I'm guessing, you know, he wounded a couple other people as well as, you know, killed someone, wounded, you know, Trump. So I don't know, y'all. Some of the things she has told people on that detail about security arrangements, clearly making political statements, she is completely unqualified. It is time for President Trump to have a full presidential package. What we saw was either a result of complete incompetence or what we saw was a purposeful sabotaging of Trump's security detail, which created clear vulnerabilities and allowed an opportunity for a shooter to have a window on President Trump. It's hard to know exactly what happened or again to make a declarative statement here. But it's so just think about that. It's so many people, though, like I feel like I don't know. I'm more I'm more of a, of a person that is very. I, I have to check and see you know, all of my surroundings. I have to look around. I have to see. And I feel like you can obviously see a person up there that doesn't even look like he. And I feel like some people are obviously like, look, you know, like maybe he's one of the people, but I don't know. Me personally, I would have, oh yeah, I'm screaming. Somebody up there, who is that? Who, who is that? You know, because I don't know. I feel like a lot of people was confused and in disbelief, you know, too. People that was by him, you know, innocent bystanders. So, I mean, I obviously something makes no sense. How in the frick did the U.S. Secret Service allow a domestic terrorist sniper to set up for not just two seconds on a parallel roof within a clear fatal distance without any intervention? How was nobody covering that building? Exactly. How could this have possibly happened? Well, director Kimberly A. Cheadle has some big frickin' questions to answer, and I'm just hoping she'll Definitely. do a better job in her response response than she did with the accidentally deleted January 6 tapes, or rather text messages. She would know. The 28-year veteran was on the team that evacuated Vice President Dick Cheney on 9-11, and she served on then Vice President Biden's protective detail. He named her director in mid-2022. Amid a swirl of controversy over the agency deleting nearly all of its text messages from January 6, the agency says that was due to a data migration. System migrations happen, but I think for a lot of Americans, it just doesn't pass the smell test given the timing and the volume of messages deleted. Well, it's unfortunate that that would be the assumption that people would make. Our integrity is everything, and there was nothing nefarious attached to that. Their integrity has... Again, it's hard to say exactly what happened. I don't want to... So what's she going What's she going to do? I hope she got the answers. Malice, it could possibly just be incompetence, as we're now learning that Kimberly Cheadle was focused on DEI initiatives. To expand hiring, they're aiming to have 30% women recruits by 2030, and even allowed YouTube very conscious uh, as, uh, as I sit in this chair now, of making sure that we need to uh, attract diverse candidates and ensure that we are developing and giving opportunities to everybody in our workforce, um, and particularly women. More focused on ridiculous woke DEI programs than she wasn't doing her job, which of course is protecting the president of the United right. States and the former presidents. Absolutely shocking, confusing stuff. Independent investigations must be launched immediately. Every single question must be answered because none of this. I don't know, y'all. 
Me personally, I just I, I like I said, it is a lot, a lot of questions that need to be um answered. Obviously, and it just I don't know. I like I said in the last video, stuff like this, it definitely bothered me yesterday watching on live. Um, it is something that is, you know, sad and, and I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't like, you know, I don't find it funny. You know, a lot of people making jokes, you know, I, uh, was on the phone with my sister and she was like, yeah, uh, dad, dad had laughed and he had to, you know, just it's stuff like that. Like, so I'm telling y'all it sucks. It sucks. You know, it definitely does because it's like, regardless of whoever it is, um, it could have been anybody standing up there seeing stuff like that and seeing that somebody, um, you know, kill somebody wounded, you know, wounded a f former president, wounded others, you know, it's sad. It definitely is sad. And I don't find any of it, you know, funny at all. I don't, I don't like stuff like that. And I'm, I'm pretty much, you know, lost for words. Um, this video and last video try to, you know, get some more of, you know, details of what happened and trying to look through this and look through that. And it's been, you know, it's been kind of rough, you know, I feel like, especially with the witnesses is stuff that is everywhere people don't know much of what's going on because stuff happens so fast and you know people don't aren't knowing what to believe so they just assume in and they making videos and they doing this and doing that and best believe i'm gonna try my best you know you gonna and stuff will come out too you know stuff will definitely be out um, so definitely, uh, I, I appreciate y'all for tuning in and watching these videos. Much love, everybody. And, uh, yeah, they definitely need to do something, uh, about this woman here because I honestly don't know, uh, how that even happened. Um, I, I really don't, I don't know how that, you know, having those buildings up there like that, those should have been secured, um, before he even got there, you know, and stay secured. But, um, y'all let me know y'all comments and thoughts down below. Much love, everybody. Catch y'all next one.